We start with the politics lead. President Trump headed to Japan right now while his attorney general carries out his instructions to find out more about how and why the probe began into Russian interference in the 2016 election and Russian outreach to the Trump campaign. Now, the Mueller report, in fact, right on page one, introduction to volume one, explains how this all began pretty clearly. Quote, in late July 2016, soon after WikiLeaks' first release of stolen documents, a foreign government contacted the FBI about a May 2016 encounter with Trump campaign foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos, who had suggested to a representative of that foreign government that the Trump campaign had received indications from the Russian government that it could assist the campaign through the anonymous release of information damaging to Hillary Clinton. That information prompted the FBI on July 31st, 2016, to open an investigation, unquote. But those facts are apparently not the narrative President Trump desires, so he has dispatched his attorney general to get on the case. Today, he promised potentially some major revelations. They'll be able to see how this uh, hoax, how the hoax or witch hunt started and why it started. Uh, it was a, an attempted coup or an attempted takedown of the President of the United States. You're going to learn a lot. I hope it's going to be nice, but perhaps it won't be. Last night, President Trump gave unprecedented powers to Attorney General Bill Barr to retrieve information from U.S. intelligence agencies to find out whatever Barr wants. Critics call the president's move a conspiracy to weaponize classified information against the president's political enemies. Let's go right now to CNN's Caitlin Collins. She's live in Tokyo ahead of the president's arrival. And Caitlin, this move just set off a new fight, not just with the president and Democrats, but also with the intelligence community. Yeah, Jake, because with this move, the president is ordering the CIA and other intelligence agencies to cooperate with Bill Barr. And in a sign that this could be a showdown that is looming today, the national, the director of national intelligence, Dan Coats, issued a statement saying that he is confident, quote, that the attorney general will work with the intelligence community in accordance with the long established standards to protect highly sensitive classified information that if publicly publicly released would put our national security at risk. But today, Jake, when the president was defending his latest move, he didn't make any mention of national security implications. The attorney general is one of the most respected people in this country. Today, President Trump defending his decision to give the attorney general sweeping new powers. I declassified everything. After he signed a memo granting Bill Barr free reign to declassify any intelligence related to the beginning of the Russia investigation, including FBI surveillance of his 2016 campaign. People have been asking me to declassify for a long period of time. I've decided to do it, and you're gonna learn a lot. The move is unprecedented and could lead to a showdown with the secretive intelligence community who have been ordered to assist Barr in his review. It's the greatest hoax probably in the history of our country, and somebody has to get to the bottom of it. Trump signed the directive just hours after he falsely claimed yet again that those who led the investigation committed treason. That's treason. That's treason. They couldn't win the election, and that's what happened. But today, he insisted he's not looking for payback. This is about finding out what happened. The memo reveals how much Trump trusts his attorney general, who has broken with the head of the FBI and backed up the president's claims. I think there's a spying did occur. Sources say Barr is leading the review into the investigation along with U.S. Attorney John Durham. That's in addition to the Justice Department's internal watchdog conducting his own investigation into how the FBI obtained surveillance orders for former campaign aide Carter Page. His report is due next month. Democrats say the attorney general is doing the president's political bidding. It's part of the uh, uh, Trump and Republican plot to dirty up the uh, intelligence uh, community. The Senate Intelligence Committee's top Democrat, Mark Warner, saying today that selectively declassifying sources and methods in order to serve a political agenda will make it harder for the intelligence community to do their jobs. Democrats still want to hear from the special counsel, who they say wants to testify behind closed doors. He's willing to make an opening statement, but he wants to testify in private. Trump has insisted Robert Mueller's appearance is up to the attorney general. But today he questioned why he should even testify at all. He just gave that report. Why does he have to testify? 
Now, Jake, as you mentioned, the president is on his way to Tokyo right now. He's going to be the first foreign leader to visit after the crowning of the new emperor. And while he, he while he's here, he's going to go golfing. He's going to go to a sumo wrestling match and, of course, meet with the new emperor. And though there are plenty of things for him to talk about with the Japanese prime minister, including North Korea and a potential trade deal, right now we're being told by the White House that this visit is going to be more about ceremony than it is about substance. Jake. All right, Caitlin Collins uh, traveling with the president in Tokyo, Japan. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, let's uh, chew over all that. Why is he doing this? Why is President Trump giving Barr these powers to investigate how this all happened? Well, it is a fascinating thing, right? I, it was so striking to me when he uh, came out and spoke this afternoon how much of the conversation was focused on 2016. In case your viewers forgot, which feels <laughs> like they may have, given how much time we spend discussing that election, that was three years ago, and we're still discussing it. So you have to wonder why. You know, this is a president who's running for re-election. He has a booming economy that would be the envy of most presidents. He has campaign promises to keep, some of which involve trade, which involves working with a Democratic Congress, because this is a White House that sees rallying their base as their path to the presidency. So keeping this issue going and keeping it moving and investigating it again, investigating what happened in 16, uh, it keeps his base motivated, and they think that's the way to win and to keep Democrats talking about this, which, you know, they Trump, some people close to Trump believe keeps them from talking about actual agenda items that, you know, like health care. So as a journalist, I'm in favor of all information coming out at all points. Yeah. I mean, I don't, that's fine, release this stuff. But it's interesting because at the same time the White House is pushing for more information about the origins of this, uh, Attorney General Barr is blocking information yeah. and uh, Robert Mueller, and although it doesn't appear to be Robert Mueller um, uh, that, that he's doing in the bidding of Attorney General Barr, and, and, they're, and the president's saying that he doesn't even think Mueller should testify. So yeah. there does seem to be like different standards, not like this is the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, you, look, you made the point I was going to make. As a journalist, I'm all for declassifying the origins of this investigation. More information about this is better for, for the public. Um, but we have to be on guard for whether it's being politicized, right? Um, but at, at the end of the day, if they um, declassify this information and we find out that the origins of this investigation are other than what we all uh, believe them to be. And, and what Mueller said they were. What Mueller said they were, what's been widely reported. Well, that's, you know, that, then we have a, a real news story on our hands. I think Trump has been convinced by people um, in the conservative uh, pund uh, pundit class on Fox News and Republicans on the Hill that there is a real scandal at the, at the you know in the origin story of this and you know let's all find out but your point is right they're not doing this in a consistent way yeah and what do you make of it all I mean he's doing this because he's ticked off he's ticked off <laughs> about this story he's ticked off that it's ongoing i think he's a, a bit he's making it he's, ongoing no, no, I know, I know, but he's exactly. also he's also a bit legitimately upset that, and i think uh, legitimately upset that a lot of the story has been used to delegitimize his win uh, and that is what is at the root of every every reaction he has to these things but that. but he has yes. fed the he has fed his yes. own delegitimization I'm, by the way he's handled this actually and i would also say there's i sort of wonder why now because there's this ig report that does seem to be coming to a close and that seems like a nice way to find out what, right. what the origin was, which also signals that there is something to look at here. Um, but I would I would like to see that first. Um, and I'm again, I agree with you guys, Echo, that I'm fine with them declassifying things as long as they do it in a safe way. And I basically trace them in a consistent way. Right. Yeah. I mean, release everything. But I think given the way and this is obviously the concern that Democrats have, and I hope they think through a strategy to get ahead of this this time, given the way Barr handled the release of the Mueller report, we know that it is very likely he will cherry pick the information to suit a particular agenda or narrative. It will be hard to know if we're getting the whole story because, I mean, think again, he there was a summary of the conclusions. Then there was a press conference where nobody else had the actual information. And then there was a 500-page right, so report. Well, but that, that, we know that's, that's, so, that's in the yeah, thing no. in, in but, Barr's right, uh, favor is that he did, he did release mo mo you know, most of the report, most of it unredacted. But he, he, drew, he was able to control the narrative the first 24, 40 hours, first couple of weeks, in the way we were talking about it. And I feel like... Which is only two years fewer than well, everyone else okay, in control. Let's do seven years of white, whitewater, and then you can talk. Um, <laughs> just saying. I can but talk, I think actually, the, the whole show, the if I would like to. The president is actually doing this, I think, in large measure because he wants to undermine Mueller, undermine this right. report. And again, you know, I would say he himself, if he had been 
quiet about this and let this investigation happen, he could have been touting the economy and his own agenda rather than yeah. the one who's brought this up over and over and over again <laughs> and delegitimizing himself.